When a quarterback tells a receiver to go deep, the result quite often is big air. The Flying Disc Competition, today on Top Dogs. Welcome to sunny Stockton, California. We're here today for the Northern California K-9 Disc Championship. I'm Al Stafford alongside color commentator Garnet Lewis. What we have for you today in this strong California breeze, a free flight competition, 90 second routine between a handler, the disc and the dog. Also the handlers will be showing off their dog's ability to run and catch with the toss and fetch competition. Let's take a look at some of the competitors we'll be watching today. Osceola Jack, the biggest little disc dog in the sport, and Blaze, one of the fastest dogs out there today. Ripley and Joaquin. Ripley, the youngest competitor we'll be watching today at 11 months old. Joaquin loves to play with the disc, even when he's not competing. Chuck has been catching the disc for four years, but only began competing last year. Cricket is in her second year of disc competition. Callie has never competed in disc before, but has won herding and agility titles. And Guinness Stout just began competing, but has shown well already in local competitions. Competitors are getting some last minute instructions. And while they do that, we caught up with organizer Chris Perandi earlier today and talked about what we'll be seeing this afternoon. Today what we're doing to, is a free flight competition, which is a competition uh, judged on four different categories, which is leaping ability, execution, showmanship, and difficulty. The wind plays so much of a factor on the, how the disc is going to fly and the aerodynamics of the disc. The competitors really have to be sure which way the wind's blowing before they release their discs. That way they make good throws. And Garnet, no question, the wind will be a factor out there today. That's true, Al. Some of the tricks are best done facing the wind, some are best done downwind. So the competitors are going to have to be careful and watch which way they're facing before they attempt the trick. Well, our first competitor is ready to go for the free flight competition. We're looking at Andrea Padilla, who is the handler for Tigger. Uh, Tigger's second competition, a four-year-old Border Collie cross. And let's take a look at how Tigger did earlier today in the toss and fetch. Tigger and Andrea scored one point in the toss and fetch. Points are awarded based on the distance the dog catches the frisbee at. Uh, also a half point bonus if all four paws are off the ground when the catch is made. Before I would play ball with her, but she would wear me out because <laughs> and then I figured okay if she catches a frisbee I can throw it further <laughs> and make her run more and she just has a good time so since then that's all we've been doing. So we will combine the toss and fetch points with the points that Andrea and Tigger earn now in the free flight competition 90 seconds and it's a routine basically the handlers and dogs uh, work very hard at this uh, trying to do all of the tricks that they possibly can in a 90 second span. One thing to watch for Al is how smoothly the handler and the dog go from trick to trick as well. Andrea and Tigger are fairly new to the sport so there is some standing around time. Uh, Tigger's very very enthused though about catching the frisbee. Some soft tosses showing the agility of the animal. That's tunneling work uh, linking together the through the legs uh, routine there by, by Tigger. Extra points for that. see the wind uh, hanging the, the disc up in that particular situation. Tough to make the catch when the dog has to double back like that. You want the dog catching the frisbee at, uh, at a good height, almost at the, you know, there's a sweet spot on each toss where you want the dog to catch the frisbee at. Getting close to the end now for Andrea Padilla and Tigger. It's a good routine, uh, some execution uh, problems there that might cost a few points. Also the showmanship maybe uh, not high points for that. There's the wind again causing problems with that disc. Andrea Padilla and Tigger. Let's take a look now at some of the things that this team did particularly well. These are some good moves. The linking the through the legs moves by Tigger there. Andrew gives him a nice soft toss here for the frisbee. He can climb the ladder and get it. Great leap. Good catch. 
Didn't stick the landing. We'll see how the judges felt, though, now in the, the four areas of this free flight competition. Uh, leaping ability, execution, difficulty, and showmanship. And you can see that Andrea Padilla and Tigger finished with 18 points. Next up is Chuck and his handler, Jeff Tillett. Chuck, a four and a half year old Aussie Shepherd Border Collie Cross. Chuck and Jeff had some problems in the toss and fetch, scoring no points. Shut out here on that one. Oh, almost a good catch there, though. Big distance on those throws by Jeff Tillett. He's been catching frisbees for oh, about yeah. almost four years, but oh, we've yeah, only been competing or training to compete uh, for cool. about well, just less than a year now. Competing, the, the competition part of it, you know, is good too. But I just like being able to come out and and have have fun with them and and have a good time. So no points for Chuck and Jeff Tillett in the toss and fetch competition, but they can make some ground with a good routine here in free flight. You can see Jeff putting different spins on the disc. That will get him some good execution points, varying up the tosses like that. I would imagine it's probably tough uh, to finesse those tosses given the wind conditions today. To, to get the frisbee up in the air to the point where the dog can make a good catch. Jeff is very good with the disc though. You'll notice that he varies the throws a lot. He'll have underhand behind his back. All of those are great for execution and showmanship points. Chuck's having a little trouble tracking down the disc though. Jeff's a high school math teacher and a track coach. So I think he uh, brings a lot of understanding. Great catch there. Behind the back. Jeff Tillett just getting a 30 second warning now from the judges, so he's coming down to the end of the competition. And if he's got one or two great tricks left in the bag, now's the time to pull him out. He's added some nice, unique elements having Chuck come back through his legs to catch that one. There's, a, there's an attempt at a vault, didn't quite make it. A lot of English on that disc. Looked like the wind caught it though. And a nice, nice vault there. Good, good height. Jeff Tillett and Chuck. Here's a great catch by Chuck. Chuck gets good air there going up, grabbing that disc uh, right at the sweet spot. Comes back looking for the next one. Sets himself. Great leap. Good catch. Nice routine by Jeff Tillett and Chuck. Let's see if the judges agree. Seven points in leaping ability and eight okay, points in difficulty, down, so 25 points overall for Jeff Tillett and Chuck. You'll see just how good some of these dogs can be coming up in just a moment on Top Dog. Welcome back to the Northern California Canine Disc Championships in Stockton. Let's take a look at just how good some of these competitors get after years of training. When Pepper and I go out here and we're performing, we're, we're basically trying to show off some of our best moves, get the competitors an idea of what they're looking at as far as different types of moves that we can do with the disc and with our dog. And there's some amazing stuff you can do from vaults to various throws, different spins on the throws, makes it more difficult for the dog to catch. And that's what I'm trying to do out here. We start out in, in events similar to this, and as we progress, and we were fortunate enough to win some championships and go out to the world finals and compete, and we were able to do and succeed out there. And uh, we were invited out to Las Vegas to perform. We were uh, living here in Stockton, and Chris had started his club, and he knew who we were, and people had just kind of heard about us. We've just been fortunate working with Chris and trying to support his club here in town. And then today you can see what kind of events he's putting on. 
it's actually it's a good activity for you and your dog. You know, whether you are looking for you know physical activity or to you know whatever you might be looking for, but it's definitely good activity for you and your dog to get out there and um, have a lot of fun because our dogs basically teach us so much, and we learn from our dogs, and we just kind of we, we learn and we grow together as we compete and perform in this sport. In support of Canine Disc, you can pretty much go anywhere and perform and compete with your dog. There's events held all over the United States. There's over 150 events that they can compete in, from local community events to state championships. If they want to go out and jam on the beach, they're more than welcome to go to do that. And many of our uh, our club members and many people that have dogs, frisbee, do frisbee dogs, are out there jamming at the park and beach day in and day out to practice with their dog. It's mainly about having fun. And Blaze knows that he's ready for some fun with handler Cindy Del Corto. Uh, Blaze, a three-year-old Australian Shepherd, and if you want to see just how good a handler and a dog can be at toss and fetch, take a look at Cindy Del Corto and Blaze. Bonus points there for all four paws off the ground. Blaze is fast, just tracks that disc down and grabs it. Blaze is an Australian Shepherd. He's three years old this month, and um, we've been playing Frisbee for about the last year. And we just kind of picked it up as a way to exercise, having fun, and uh, burning off all the Australian Shepherd energy that they come with. Eight points for Blaze and Cindy Del Cordo in the toss and fetch, and that will give these competitors an excellent edge now heading into the free flight competition and garnet some nice work in close here to begin the, the routine. Absolutely, they're linking the moves together very, very well and Blaze is just all about speed. Tracks down the discs, good leap there. Nice leap. Frisbee kind of hung up in the air for Blaze. It's kind of like a shortstop being caught on a blooper in the in the shallow left field. Good vault. Uh, this is one of the first vaults we've seen. Uh, some of the handlers are careful about how many vaults they do so as not to injure their dogs. Good vault. Blaze is great to watch. He's just so fast. Just tracks that disc down. This is one of the more difficult routines we've seen. Through the legs, nice linking of the different moves. Another big leap right out of her hand. And lots of distance in, in all outward directions as well. Blaze is covering a lot of ground in 90 seconds. Right, and you can see how they're linking things together. Oh, Blaze took a shortcut there. I think that was set up for a back vault. Cindy's putting different spins on the disc. That'll help with the showmanship and execution points. Another vault. 10 second warning from the judges. Nice leaping catch there. Good finish for Blaze and Cindy Del Cordo. Great job. Frisbee kind of hangs up in the wind for Blaze. I think he wanted it there, and he grabs it there. Still a good catch, though. Good determination to stay with it. Big leap. Lots of distance there. And the judges agree, not quite as good as our previous competitor, but 23 points in the free flight competition combined with the eight points in the toss and fetch. 31 points for Cindy Del Cordo and Blaze, our best so far today. Here now, Joaquin, handled by Eduardo Correa. Get it, boy, get it, boy, get it, boy, get it, boy. <laughs> Bonus points there. All four paws off the ground for Joaquin. Huge catch. Just watch how he goes and gets it, climbs the ladder. Great height by Joaquin. They picked up six points in the toss and fetch. He's just an amazing dog. He's got a lot of natural talent. You know, it's pretty much um, it's me building my throwing skills that's going to bring us sort of uh, in a higher competition level. Eduardo makes a good observation there. So much of the throwing technique is key once you get into the free flight. We're seeing some excellent control work here off the beginning of their routine. Almost a front flip there. There we go. Good flip. Oh, if he'd only caught it. 
Joaquin, a very agile dog, has been competing for about six months now and really seems to love the sport. This dog's a good athlete. A bit of a problem there. It looked like he punctured the, the disc with a tooth. Yeah, they've, uh, they've kind of lost some momentum. That, that will hurt them in the execution points. Joaquin lost the frisbee there, kind of lost track of it. But he's back and ready now. There we go, good catch. Those short tosses are sometimes difficult for the dogs. Oh, lots of height there. He picks it up and threw it himself. <laughs> Front flip. Great. Oh, just missed the frisbee again. Eduardo seems to have a really good relationship with this young dog and has very little trouble getting him under control and getting him to the next stage of the routine. That's right. Joaquin, uh, Joaquin's well handled by Eduardo. There's some of that leaping ability that we saw in the toss and fetch. Eduardo and Joaquin picking up six points in the toss and fetch, and uh, that will bode well for the point total at the end of the day. Good finish there, good strong finish. Great leaping ability by Joaquin, handled by Eduardo Correa. This is Joaquin just going and getting the Frisbee. Great distance on the leap. He wasn't even looking when he caught that Frisbee. Here's the front flip. Takes off on his rear legs, lands on his front legs. Settled, waiting for it again, tries it again. Great leap here, just misses the disc though. Remarkably agile dog, Joaquin, and let's see if the judges don't agree when those marks come out. A six for difficulty, a four though in execution, 26 points overall for Eduardo Correa and Joaquin. Uh, a cute little competitor here. We'll be back in Stockton, California in just a moment. Welcome back to the Northern California Canine Disc Championships in Stockton, our next competitor up. Lon Perondi, who handles cricket. A three-year-old Border Collie Queensland mix. This is a dog uh, blessed with a good deal of speed and pretty good catching ability, as you can see from the toss and fetch competition. Lon and Cricket picked up four points here. There's a nice catch. Getting all four paws off the ground there. Not a great deal of height, but that's not what's really important. These kind of dogs are pretty natural. They just like to play frisbee. They like to go after something, you know. We started out with a tennis ball, and then we started out with a few toys, and then one day all of a sudden I had a frisbee and I happened to throw it, and, and then on it's history. We just love to play. Let's see how Lon and Cricket do now here in the free flight competition. Some nice tight work to begin, and a soft toss by Lon. Cricket has good leaping ability. She'll go up and get the frisbee when it's put up there. Ooh, just missed that one. You can see how Lon's moving around, varying his tosses as well. That's, that'll get him extra points. Different angle on that disc for the dog. Lost it with the wind. You can hear the wind now gusting in our microphone, and it just blew that one disc away there. Good vault. Little misdirection. Cricket not afraid to get up there on those vaults as well and seems to have no trouble tracking the frisbee no matter where Lawn puts it. You see, I think the wind's causing them a lot of problems. Try to back toss there, missed it. Lon's doing very well to vary up the throws with the disc. I'm guessing that's a kind of a thing that, that a handler has to go on feel once you get out there and, and see how the wind handles the disc in these kinds of conditions. It certainly takes experience to deal with those kinds of situations. Good air on that vault. And another vault. Good variety of vaults in this. Nice vault there to finish there on time. Lon Perondi and Cricket. Let's have a look at Cricket going up and getting one of the discs here. Good leaping ability on Cricket. She goes up and gets the disc at the sweet spot. Here's a nice vault. Good extension. Grabs a disc right out of Lon's hand. 
Nice effort there by Lon Perondi and Cricket, and a total of 21 points in the free flight competition. Combine that with four points in the toss and fetch, 25 overall. That puts Cricket in a tie for third at this stage. Our next competitor, Guinness Stout, handled by Steve Tier, a two and a half year old Australian Shepherd. And here's a look at how they did in the toss and fetch. Nice leaping catch, yeah. Guinness is a beautiful dog. He's the perfect combination of beauty and brains. The trouble, however, is he's smarter than me and we both know it. Um, he's a little stubborn, he's a little hard to train. If he doesn't want to do something, he won't do it. And there's, and I have to move on to something else. Well, Guinness Stout and Steve Tier picking up one point in the toss and fetch competition. An excellent start to their routine. Steve and Guinness have been working together out in the backyard for a year and a half before seeing this event on TV and deciding they should come out and compete themselves. Is that kick toss? <laughs> it's great to see some of the handlers really varying how they deliver the frisbee to the dog. The kick toss is difficult. You have to hit the frisbee just at the right point to make it flip back up in the air. So behind the back work which really hides the disc from the dog until the last moment. I think Guinness has got a lot of personality. Steve was saying that after Guinness graduated from obedience school, he chewed his leash in half on the way home. Great eye contact between the two as well. You can see that Guinness Stout immediately after catching the disc looks right back at Steve and waits for the next command or the next toss. Steve's doing a good job of keeping Guinness in motion, too. Guinness is a great name. He's got a great name for this dog. Lost one there off the end of the snout. Guinness is ready to go. Steve's tried a lot of difficult tricks in this routine. It's a good routine. Just needs a little more work. Getting Guinness set for the, for the big ending. Oh, fast, fast dog. Stretches it out at the end there for that last catch. Let's watch a running catch here on the replay. Look how Guinness just goes and gets it. It's a good leaper too, watch him get air here. All four paws off the ground, good catch. A difficult routine by Steve Tier and Guinness Stout. The judges agree, a seven for difficulty, 24 points in all in the free flight competition. Add that to the single they got in the toss and fetch, and we've got a three-way tie now for third spot. We'll have more of the flying disc in just a moment. To compete in flying discs, you don't need a purebred necessarily. In fact, you can get a great animal for this sport from your local humane society. Mixed breeds are just a, a hearty, wonderful group of, of dogs to work with. As a matter of fact, you see more mixed breeds out here than you do any of the purebreds. The ones we brought out today are typical of that. We've got um, some fairly young dogs uh, between 10 months and a year and a half. This is just a, a sampling. We have 100 dogs at the shelter. And this is Dodger. He's, he's pretty full of himself. He thinks he's pretty cute. And, uh, he was... He came from an animal shelter. Just about anything you can think of that you need or you're looking to add to your family, you can probably find it at the Humane Society. Our next competitor is handled by Trish Perandi, and that's Ripley. Ripley is only 11 months old, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this young dog does in free flight because it's a relative rookie. In the toss and fetch, Nice leaping ability there by Ripley. They picked up three points overall in the early part of the competition. She's 11 months old. Just got her uh, about two weeks ago, so she's a fairly new competitor. Basically, you just uh, roll the frisbee on the ground a lot to try to increase their prey drive and give them a lot of praise. So she's a pretty good girl. She wants the frisbee now, I think. So. <laughs> It's great to have experience, but the eagerness of a young dog can also carry a competitor pretty far, I would think, in this kind of a competition. Nice close in work here off the start by Ripley and Trish Perondi. You talk about the eagerness, Al, you'll see that with Ripley. She just gets up in the air to grab these discs. She loves to jump. Look at that. What she lacks in experience, she certainly makes up for in enthusiasm. 
She loves the disc. Wow. Big flip there. You don't see many of these competitors getting up above the handler's head, but uh, that seems to be pretty easy for Ripley. Yeah, the disc kind of held up there in the wind. Look at that. Just think what they'll be like after a couple months. Tough catch there, trying to flip the Frisbee end over end. Yeah, all of the competitors have had trouble with that trick today. Kind of a break in the routine there. That will cost them some execution points. Great comp or great concentration, rather, by a young dog, too. Ripley doesn't move anywhere until that Frisbee leaves Trish's hand. That's that pursuit instinct that Ripley shows. Ripley just wants to go grab that disc. Great flips. Just a few seconds left now. Time for probably one more trick in this routine. Need some better disc management there. Not so much time waiting to go pick up the discs. Those are tough throws. Big hand and Chris and Ripley. Chris Brondi and Ripley, and uh, let's take a slow-mo look at some of this work. These are those flips. Look how high Ripley gets. Taking off the back feet, landing on the front feet, looking for the next disc, setting herself and getting way up in the air. Wow, remarkable leaping ability by Ripley. And the judges have given Ripley an eight in leaping, 23 points overall. And that gives Ripley and Trish Brondi a total of 26. Our next competitor, Samantha, two-year-old Jack Russell Terrier, a small dog, but these are fierce competitors. This is Samantha in the toss and fetch. It's too bad the wind held up the disc there. So unfortunately, no points for Samantha and Tim Weaver in the toss and fetch. One of the big problems I've noticed, uh, because I've always competed with the smaller dog, is you need to be at the early stages. I think it's real critical that you don't scare the dog with the Frisbee. It's, uh, you know, it can be intimidating for a dog that's at seven weeks old and the Frisbee is this big. And that's when she started chasing it, so. Tim's got a couple of dogs in the competition, both Jack Russells, in fact. We'll see the other one a little bit later on. Let's see how Samantha does now in the free flight. Very tenacious. She's a terrier. Just going after that dog, after the disc and not giving up. It's amazing how fast she can run with those little legs. Total concentration on the disc, too. She's not looking at anything else. She just wants that disc. Speed obviously working to Tim's advantage here. You can really get the disc out and let it fly and uh, doesn't have to worry about whether or not Samantha can track it down. And because she's a little dog, even though she's not getting as much height as the bigger dogs, her leaps are just as spectacular because of her size. Once again, the different spins on the disc there, that all helps for showmanship points. Tim's not afraid to adjust his body accordingly as well, getting down on his knees and almost over on his back there as we saw him roll the disc a couple of, uh, a few seconds ago. That's right, he's giving Samantha the best opportunity to look good. Only a few seconds left now for Tim Weaver and Samantha. Tried to float one there in the wind to wrap things up. Uh, Samantha doesn't make the catch, but still a nice routine. <laughs> Good finish. Let's watch those flips. Totally bending her body. And your observation about the dog getting great height for a dog of that size, you know, uh, Samantha getting up two or three times uh, her own body height easily with those jumps. 24 and a half points there for Tim Weaver. And a uh, pretty good finish, pretty good showing for Samantha. We'll have more dogs in just a moment from Stockton, California. <laughs> you know, hanging out in the shade isn't a bad idea while we watch some of these competitors in the California sun. Jewel is up next, handled by Mai Ichkovsky. Jewel, a three-year-old Queensland cross. And didn't fare too well, unfortunately, in the toss and fetch competition. You can see a catch there, but uh, the toss didn't go 20 yards. 
she found a frisbee out in the backyard and brought it to me when she was eight months old, and we've been playing ever since. So, and she just, she's, she's always airborne. She's always airborne, jumping jewels. So it's, it's, she's just perfect for the sport. Jumping will certainly bode well for my and for Jewel. Good work to start with here. We're linking the between the legs moves. A lot of handlers favor that move. I would imagine it's probably not an easy one to teach. No, absolutely. That's part of the training that goes into each and every one of these competitors. Make them top disc dogs. Jewel just missing, missing rather with that catch there. Nice tunneling move there into a vault. Just missing the disc though. Their timing's just a bit off. Winding her up. Nice leaping catch. And those short soft tosses are not easy in this wind because the disc blows around an awful lot. Mai's doing a good job of getting Jewel under control before going on to the next element of the routine. Jewel actually started catching the disc at only eight months. So she's been doing this for a while. She loves to go after the disc. Good catch there. Time warning now for Mai and for Jewel. Less than 30 seconds to go in the routine. Going back to that linking move. They're trying some of the more difficult moves. Time for perhaps one more element here. Trying to flip the disc end over end. Jewel not able to come up with a catch, unfortunately, and there's time. Pretty good routine, though, for Maya Ichkovsky and Jewel. She's called Jumpin' Jewel. Here's why. Great catch there. Good air. Nice to go to the dog's strengths in this particular event. And again, you see how the wind is holding the disc up, making that catch much more difficult. Let's see how the judges rank the performance. A six for difficulty and a six for showmanship, which is the best we've seen thus far in that particular category. 22 and a half points overall. Callie is up next, a two-year-old border collie handled by Trudy Itell. And in the toss and fetch portion of the competition, Callie did very well. Good speed for the dog and a couple of nice catches. It's the competition of it, the thrill of the jump and catch more than anything else. Uh, we're relatively new at the sport. We've just started in the last three months. So it's a whole new experience. Border Collies, uh, very intelligent dogs. And we mentioned earlier on in the program that Callie has uh, some herding and agility titles as well. So obviously her handler, Trudy, trying a new challenge now for this two-year-old. Callie is an all-around dog. She's also competed in fly ball and some swimming and diving events as well. This is, in fact, their first competition in free flight, uh, Trudy was admitting to some butterflies in her tummy before this event started. Since you're only allowed five discs in free flight, one of the things the handler has to learn is how to manage those discs. So that's something Trudy's getting used to here in her first experience. She's trying different things though, nice kick. Callie doesn't seem to have any problem tracking that disc down when it's uh, thrown at a, a pretty good distance. You can see Callie's kind of looking around a little bit as she goes for the disc or after she makes the catch. That's another sign of inexperience. 30 seconds to go for Trudy and for Callie. Callie doesn't seem to uh, go at this too aggressively in terms of speed, particularly when returning to Trudy necessarily, but uh, everything careful and deliberate, and uh, a pretty good routine, all things considered, for uh, this relatively inexperienced duo. You can tell that Callie's a very well-trained dog. They did very well for the first time out. Trudy Itell and Callie from Live Oak, California. Here on the replay, we'll show you the flip. Not much air on that one. You can tell Callie's just a little tentative about this. But she goes after the disc hard. 
Probably get lower marks there in leaping ability. You can see a five for the leap. 20 and a half points overall. Add that with the three points and toss and fetch, giving Cali 23 and a half points. Soaring Sierra is up next. This dog is just a year and a half old. Another border collie handled by Trish Perondi. And a pretty good showing in the toss and fetch, picking up a couple of points. Oh, Sierra, just, she's a fun, loving, you know, people kind of dog. She, she uh, sometimes I think she'd rather go see the people than catch the frisbee, but uh, she likes to entertain the crowd, so she has a good time. Sierra seems to be having a little trouble with concentration here off the start. The routine has begun, but Trish can't seem to get Sierra's attention. There we go. Well, the routine doesn't start until the first disc leaves Trisha's hand, so that shouldn't hurt them. You can see the wind just turn that disc away from where it was intended entirely. Now there's a move that we haven't seen so far this afternoon. Must be tough to plan too, because you probably don't know when the dog's going to release the disc. <laughs> That's part of that teamwork where the dog and the handler have to be used to each other. Years sprint, spent practicing. Good vault there, or good attempt at a vault. Looked like Sierra kind of changed her mind halfway through it. Some of the handlers are dressing the dogs up in costumes. You can see that uh, uh, there are frills on this one worn by Sierra. That'll add to the showmanship points. Oftentimes the dog and the handler will coordinate their outfits. It's all part of showmanship. Sierra now uh, not going after the disc nearly as aggressively, and I would imagine uh, that that's going to cost them some points in terms of execution. Good attempt at a vault there, but yeah, I think their execution points and perhaps the leaping agility points might be a little low in this routine. Trying the end over end flip again with the disc, and a lot of dogs have had trouble making that catch today, and it, that can't be easy, I would imagine, at any time, wind conditions or not. You can tell that they're in a new team. They'll get better with practice. Just a few seconds left now for Trish Perondi and Sierra, and that wraps it up. Nice effort there. Here's the vault. Good effort by Sierra, just missed the disc. And we'll see that unique spin move again. That'll get them points. Part of showmanship is presenting your moves in a unique and different way. That's what they've done here very well. So Trish trying some things that the other handlers have not shown us so far. 14 and a half points for Sierra in the free flight. Add that to the two points in the toss and fetch for 16 and a half overall. One of the most decorated competitors in this event is up next. Welcome back to Stockton, California, and we're going to feature Tim Weaver again. You might recall Samantha appeared with Tim earlier in the competition. We're going to show you Samantha's father now, Osceola Jack, the oldest competitor in this event. Jack's been competing for four and a half years. Come here. Good girl. I got these little Jack Russells, and it was never intended to turn into a Frisbee thing, but Osceola here excelled at it, and um, he's done real well with it. And it seems to be that no matter how great the feat's done on the field by all the other big dogs, that the crowd always delights in the, the little dog because they just seem to have to try harder and work harder to cover the same field. He's currently the uh, Alpo Southwestern Regional Division II champion and the Western Open Regional Division II champion. He's. Uh, currently starring in a Mighty Dog commercial playing Frisbee. OJ is a typical Jack Russell Terrier. Um, they're a little on the, um, I won't say aggressive side, but they're just a very uh, small active dog. Um, requires a lot of activity. They're a handful. They're the smartest dog I've ever encountered. You never fool them twice. It was real difficult to train because of that. The biggest reason I like to do it is it creates an incredible uh, bond with the dog. It's really fun, it's something that you do. Uh, it's a real good time. Tim Weaver is selecting his five discs and Osceola Jack is excited and ready to go. 
Uh, this team picked up two and a half points in the toss and fetch, so they've got their work cut out for them now if they want to finish in the top three. OJ is always a crowd favorite, and you're going to see why. Making him roll over to start. Gets the disc out there a long way. OJ just tracks it down. The intensity level in this dog is just amazing. Oh, good leap there, good vault. Tim setting him up here. Good, good flip. Another one. Remarkable athleticism. Yeah, but Tim's getting the dog back in control before each one of these other tricks. Good flip. Remarkable, too, for such a small dog. I mean, that disc is pretty big for a Jack Russell Terrier. Look at the extension there and the height he gets from working so close. Tim's rolling out the disc, letting OJ track it down. Great catch. Tim just leads the dog really nicely, allows OJ to do his utmost going after these discs. And he hasn't missed too many catches, too. I mean, oh, great to catch yeah. there. Compared to some of the other competitors we've seen. No, OJ doesn't miss many. Look at these flips. Getting OJ in control. Frisbee off the knee. Missed it, but he goes and grabs it anyway. Gonna do it again. Great flip. And the extension there. Tim leading the dog nicely again. About 15 seconds to go now. Through the legs to catch this one. No slow speed chase there. Look at that grab. Oh, good height. He's got time for one more trick. Maybe two. Looking for the big ending here. Oh, didn't quite make it, but good try. Excellent effort. Osceola Jack and Tim Weaver, and I would say by far the best routine we've seen this afternoon. Great routine. Look at this flip. Look at the extension. Almost upside down when he catches the disc. Settles him down. Goes back up. Big flip again. No fear, obviously, in OJ. We'll go the to any length. The extension there. Gets the disc. Well led with the disc, too, by Tim. Great marks. Look at that. An eight in leaping, an eight in execution, an eight and a half for difficulty. By far the best marks of the day. Boo, a two-year-old border collie handled by Sonia Wolf is our next competitor in free flight. No points for this team in the toss and fetch. The catches you're seeing here are under throws by Sonia Wolf. He's fun to watch because he's so interested in the frisbee. He wants it so bad. He's so fun to watch him race out and jump and get it and come back. It, you can tell he likes what he's doing. That's what I like about it. This is our final competitor in free flight, Sonia Wolf and Boo. Nice spin move there off, off the start of this routine. Boo's got that intense border collie personality. The disc on that last throw kind of hung up in the wind. Boo could have gone up and got it. Here he goes again. Sonia working Boo back and forth across this, this field. Good dismanagement there, Boo through her legs. Good catch, good toss. Just missed on that leap there. It looked like uh, the throw might have been off. Maybe the disc got hung up on Sonya's hand. Yeah, it's really important for the handler to lead the dog properly to give the dog the best opportunity to go up and get those discs. Yeah, a little confusion there between what the handler wanted to do and what Boo had in mind. Who's not making many catches here? That's that's going to hurt them. He's kind of distracted by both discs. That'll hurt them in execution. Just trying to settle Boo down, get get his attention back, making him roll over. That's a it's a good move on her part to kind of get things settled down. Good control. Throwing the disc off in that direction has uh, led to some problems. Those have not been catchable throws for for any of the competitors today. That's right. Really. A lot of a lot of the dogs and handlers have missed going in that direction. These are good moves in close. Just making Boo work and show his obedience. And that's time, Sonia Wolf and Boo. It's uh, now in the hands of the judges. Here's a nice unique move that will earn them some showmanship points. And Boo heads out looking for the disc. It's a good catch. Good leap. There were some good catches in this routine, although not as many as we saw with Tim Weaver and OJ. And the marks certainly reflect that 17 and a half points for Sonia Wolf and Boo. Well, that wraps up the last of our competitors. We'll be back to check out the leaderboard when we return to Top Dog. Well, it's 
It's been an exciting afternoon of competition here at the Northern California Canine Disc Championships. And let's run down the leaderboard for you now. OJ, the winner, 33 points overall based on that great free flight performance, 30 and a half points. Blaze was the best in the toss and fetch, and that was enough to elevate Blaze into second place with 31 points overall. Ripley and Joaquin finishing in a tie for third with 26 points. And as you can see, there's the rest of the field today. Samantha finishing fifth on the day. Tim Weaver has some comments now on his dog, OJ. He's quite the athlete. Um, he doesn't let his size uh, deter from, even though they're all judged the same, you know, doesn't matter the size, they're all judged the same. Well, he doesn't let that obviously deter him from succeeding in the event since he was the top dog today. And his big and dinner place, certificate, I mean, most importantly, free dinner five, out. Five, yeah, Thanks, Juice. Too bad they don't take dogs to the restaurant. A great performance by little OJ and a free-for-all for the competitors as we wrap things up here. On behalf of Garnet Lewis, this is Al Stafford saying so long from Stockton, California.